Frogs. If only there were some kind of creature that could reliably and effectively indicate the health of various ecosystems and serve as a warning sign for humans to take action. Frogs can do that. They serve as bio-indicators because their skin absorbs substances in their surrounding habitat. Consequently, any changes to their skin will indicate contamination or other issues present in the area. Frogs can exist in water as well as on land, meaning that these miraculous animals will be the first to react to any hazards. Fungi. We know you're all thinking about the mold growing around the house or those not-so-nice foot fungal infections. With over 144,000 known species of organisms in the kingdom fungi, it was fungi that allowed plants to obtain the nutrients and water from the soil around them. Despite popular beliefs, plants do not directly absorb these essential components of life into their roots. Instead, they have the wondrous fungi gather and deliver them from the surrounding soil. As their second vital function, fungi are also the main nutrient recyclers in nature. They do this with the remnants of dead plants and animals by decomposing them and returning the nutrients to nature to be used again. Fish. Recent research has given light to something you probably did not know. According to researchers at the University of Exeter, fish can help to reduce the impacts of climate change with their excrement. Fish excrement can significantly reduce the acidity of oceans. In maintaining an ocean's delicate pH balance, fish excrement floats to the surface of the water and then ultimately dissolves. When this process happens, it forms carbon dioxide which then helps to create acidity in the ocean. There's been a lot of talk in recent years about the pressing issue of overfishing. According to National Geographic, 31% of the world's fish populations are overfished and another 58% are fished at the maximum sustainable level. With 7 billion people demanding more fish on their plates, these sea creatures soon won't be able to reproduce as fast as they are in demand. Worms. How many of you had worm farms growing up? Well, if you did, you may have been onto something. Those wriggly, slimy little underground creatures can actually help dramatically reduce the amount of waste sent to landfills. Rather than putting waste straight into the garbage disposal, people have started to return to worm composting systems. This practice of decomposition by worms can aid in cutting down green matter and the sheer amount of waste generated in everyday households. In addition, using a worm composting system can create a wonderful fertilizer for your garden and other plants. Primates other than humans. These cute creatures aren't just a wonderful economic earner from tourism ventures or our closest biological link. With over 300 different species in the world, Primates provide an important role in maintaining tropical and subtropical forests. Primates' dung droppings plant the seeds for the trees of tomorrow and keep these forests growing and healthy. Without such ecosystems, we would be without a permanent source of carbon. Tropical rainforests also influence global rainfall patterns. If there are fewer trees in these rainforests, less moisture goes into the atmosphere, rainfall is reduced, and water supplies decline. Birds. Although all the previously mentioned animals are masters of their own trades, Birds seem to dabble a little bit in everything, making them quite important to our world. Included in their broad variety of ecological roles, birds perform insect control, forest decomposition, nutrient recycling, pollination and seed sowing, and soil aeration. Bats. Yes, these creatures can be somewhat scary, but contrary to popular belief, these vampire-like animals do more good than harm. With over 1,200 species of bats, they are the second largest order of mammals on the planet. In fact, one in five mammals is a bat. They're also the only ones that can fly. As such, they do a great job of performing insect control all around the globe. Bats consume millions of pest insects, meaning that we don't even have the discomfort of dealing with them. In numerous countries, mosquitoes carry dangerous and sometimes deadly diseases, such as malaria and dengue fever. Bats can eat up to 1,000 mosquitoes an hour. In many countries, however, bats are currently facing the loss of habitat through deforestation and other human actions. Ants. So far, humans have discovered over 12,000 species of ants across the world, and chances are that you can find them in abundance in almost every ecosystem. These nifty little creatures help to create and maintain healthy soil conditions for plants to grow. This crucial activity happens when ants dig into the dirt, building tunnels, and aerating the soil as they go. In turn, this aids in decomposition by recycling the nutrients present in the soil. Plankton. Those microscopic algae, bacteria, and living creatures that are too small to swim against the current play a vital role in our existence. Despite their minuscule size, plankton sustain billions of marine animals by providing food to creatures even as big as the blue whale. With over 50,000 different plankton species in the light zone of the ocean, they are even visible from space. These little creatures not only feed fish, whales, dolphins, and seabirds, 
They also provide us with arguably the most pivotal role of all. They're the reason we can all breathe. Phytoplankton absorb energy from the sun and nutrients from the water, the two ingredients needed for photosynthesis. Plankton photosynthesis is responsible for half the world's oxygen, with the other half coming from photosynthesis on land by trees and other plants. Bees. Those little creatures that are best known for so craftily making delicious honey actually play a more vital role in the Earth's functions than you may think. Across the globe, these hardworking little insects transport pollen from flower to flower on their daily roots. Pollination is vital as it's basically what makes most of the plant life on the planet grow. A life without plants, flowers, trees, and fruits would occur without bees doing their handiwork. Unfortunately, the population of bees has fallen by up to 80% in certain parts of the world due to human interaction, climate change, disease, and pesticide usage. Butterflies. Aside from looking absolutely beautiful and helping spread pollen through their wings, butterflies help predict climate change. Studies have indicated that European butterflies have steadily been moving north, and a large part of this is due to a change in temperature. Butterflies prefer milder climates, and studies have shown that they are emerging earlier and navigating north sooner than normal. They provide a way for scientists to study the effects of climate change and provide great insights on how to prevent it. Sharks. Despite their fearsome reputation, sharks help us far more than they hurt us. Their feeding behaviors affect the population and distribution of prey species, which is vital for maintaining the balance of marine ecosystems. Our oceans are crucial in the fight against climate change and produce about half of the world's oxygen. One way in which sharks help combat climate change is by preying on sea turtles, which would otherwise overpopulate and overconsume seagrass beds. Sharks eat the fish that consume algae-eating fish, so they indirectly protect the populations of algae-eating fish, which prevents algae from taking over the ocean and smothering coral reefs. Like whales, sharks also spread nutrients from the deep ocean to shallower waters through their fecal matter. Giraffes. Since they're the tallest land animals in the world, giraffes can reach parts of trees no other species can. This means they help with the pollination and seed distribution of these plants, as well as encouraging new growth of existing trees. Like rhinos and elephants, they also support soil fertilization with their dung. Giraffes also support the survival of smaller animals by providing an early warning system against predators. They can spot carnivores like lions from miles away. So when a giraffe starts running, other prey animals follow suit. By helping out various different species, giraffes promote biodiversity, which provides incredible benefits for us and the planet. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.